just finished my workout and after every workout I like to spritz this. This is kind of like the same as the Tower 26 spray. It's an antimicrobial facial cleanser and I just keep it in my car to spray it after every workout. Literally, I'm just a girl. Why is my gas light on? because the last couple of days it's been a little problematic I guess you can say but she's good now I replaced the battery after like four years and then I also got my car checked up so anyway um, we are done it is currently 708 right now and I'm honestly so 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 happy that I found like a good workout the number one questions that I get in my or on my Instagram whenever I post my workouts is like what kind of workout do you do because I always like post little snippets of it and I do an LED infrared light Pilates like matte Pilates and at burn there's like different classes there's ISO which is like basically doing workouts that isolate a specific muscle don't quote me on this that's just like what I think it is, like where we do a lot of arms, like small, smaller movements to target like specific muscles. Then there's burn 45, which is kind of more of like a hit workout. Um, and then there is burn combo or like ISO hit and yeah, they combine it, but check them out. I love them. I first found out about them um, in Hawaii because the original studio is actually on Oahu. And I was so happy when I found out that they were opening one in LA and I've just been here ever since they opened so that is what is going on right now I am on my way home and it's cloudy and rainy today and I do not like it I do not like it at all so we're just gonna take our time driving um, my biggest pet peeve though when people drive in the rain is like they literally instantly forget to how to drive like it's okay to go and drive the normal speed limit like we don't have to drive five miles per hour but i get it sometimes that's also me because you know obviously safety but some people are just like way too slow so anyway let's do that also i'm currently obsessed with hotel room service right now by pitbull and i've been saying this all morning that i feel like going to a pitbull concert would instantly literally take away all of my worries right now every filipino in the room stand up right now if this isn't the anthem the philippine anthem i don't know what it is can we please bring back the script this song is so toxic like it's literally about him regretting about the girl he lost i'm still alive but i'm barely breathing as you should what am i supposed to say when i'm all choked up and you're okay to run errands right after my workout but i am someone that needs to like shower asap and i don't really like showering in public places or like public gyms and whatnot unless i really have to so i just got home and i'm also just wiping my phone Alrighty, guys i just finished taking a shower and as you can tell my face is still pretty wet um i also didn't wash my hair today because i have one more workout tomorrow and then it's rest day so i'm gonna go ahead and just keep it at that also i have a meeting later today and i want to sleep back my hair one of the things that i started changing with my skincare routine is to stop using my body towel to wipe my face because if you think about it you're like using your body towel on your all over your body and even though it's clean i feel like it's not really clean so i bought these face towelettes or just like little face towel and they look like this i also have like these size extra large but these are like the smaller one because the extra large is kind of big and i feel like i'm wasting a lot of it so this one like fits my face perfectly and i like to grab these and i just tap all over my face instead of using like a face towel or my body towel and honestly 
This one really helped clear my skin. And I know I have a couple of acne right now, but that's because I'm honestly about to get my period too. I have them in this little bamboo case. You just open it and I have so many. I got it from Amazon and I will link it down below for you guys if you're interested. I also bought one that is like a travel size so that I can keep them with me even when I'm not at home. The first thing I like to do is my Dr. Dennis Grass daily facial peel and this one comes with two pads this year i want to maintain my eyebrows a lot more often meaning that i feel like all of last year i only really got my eyebrows done if i was like about to go somewhere like travel or if i had an event but this year i feel like just having nice clean brows like helps with the natural look does that one like does that make sense now I'm going in with the Milano CC. I got this in Japan um, a couple months ago and I've just recently started using it because I was trying to finish my Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Firma Serum. And now that I finished it, I was like, wait, I bought all these skincare from Japan that I should honestly use before like they expire. And then I go in with Hayda Labo premium hyaluronic acid i believe there's like seven hyaluronic acids in here it's all in japanese and um, i use this one morning and nighttime it just keeps my skin super hydrated and don't forget to drag it down your neck i feel like people forget to moisturize or do their skincare on their neck it is just as important because like can you imagine like your neck wrinkling there's nothing wrong with getting wrinkles by the way but like wrinkling and then your skin is like lumpy and bouncy and then to lock in everything i either use the summer fridays jet lag mask or the glow recipe moisturizer so either of these whichever i grab first honestly and it looks like we're going with the glow recipe today i just like to conceal all the serums with moisturizer and this also again as an extra layer of hydration waking up early it really is so freaking amazing i've always been an early riser but this time since my workout is at like the crack of dawn i had to like wake up earlier than my usual one and i'm like wow like this feels amazing i've never regretted waking up that early nor going to an early workout i've always felt really good about it right after and I think that's the hardest part about doing an early morning workout or just like waking up early is the actual thought or the actual action of doing it. Because once you're up, you're up. Once you're up, you're up. <laughs> Before I dive into hours and hours of editing that I am going to go and get my eyebrows done. So we are going on an adventure. We're going to the mall, hopefully just the mall, and getting our eyebrows basically clean. I don't really ask for a specific shape, I just ask them to kind of clean it up for me. I'm trying to organize my makeup collection my pr don't worry about the scrub daddy in there but i got this one so i can put them all in here because right now they're just in random boxes like random pr boxes i am slowly but surely running out of space and i feel like if i do put them in here at least i get to see what kind of products i have and it'll be easier for me to like pick out and like try out because right now they're like hidden and i really don't or i don't have the motivation to look through all of them so I need to get another one for my skincare because I'm going to separate them. Like this one is going to be all of my makeup, um, makeup products, and the other box will be skincare. Alrighty guys, hello, welcome back. I am taking a little break from doing my emails because I want to get ready. Um, just a little bit, nothing too fancy or nothing too much. Nothing too much? 
nothing fancy and I'm not doing like a full glam or anything so I feel like getting ready in the morning time whether you're working at home or going to the office really helps with productivity that's something that I notice um, because being out of your pajamas to do work honestly does something for your um, productivity. Speaking of this concealer, you guys, I am loving this one. This is probably the best concealer in my opinion, next to the NARS um, um, Soft Matte Complete Concealer that I have. Like these two are the best, the best concealer. Or if I were to give you guys my top three concealers, this one, um, the first one is Hourglass. This, if you guys want a concealer that really conceals your hyperpigmentation and you want it to feel like skin and you're not wearing layers and layers and layers of um, concealer, the Hourglass does such a great job at it. And I got this like a few weeks ago and I kid you not, the trouble, the struggle of me finding this shade. I went to Sephora and got my shade um, match and the girl was like, okay, your actual shade is flax, but if you want something darker, it is topaz. And I was like, honestly, I want a concealer shade that is the closest to my natural skin because I am probably going to treat it as a foundation. I haven't been really wearing foundation lately, even though I just got a new one. Um, but for the days that I have, you know, campaigns to shoot or just photo shoot and whatnot, at least I have a foundation to use and I've been using the Laura Mercier. I don't know if this is honestly my shade. I tried it the other day and I feel like it was a little bit off. This is literally the best concealer that I have right now and it feels like skin. A little bit of this goes a long, long, long way. Like, talk about the freaking shade match, you guys. I recently filmed a TikTok like a funny TikTok um, and a lot of the people in the comments were like the shade match is freaking crazy and I was like yeah I'm so glad I asked like a Sephora employee to help me out with my shade match because most of the time I really just do be raw dogging my shade match in person like I'll just go and be like that looks the closest to me and most of the time it's work but other times I had to like return it and whatnot so I'm so happy that I literally put my anxiety to the side and ask the girl to help me at Sephora. And then to blend it, I have been using the Sephora 71 concealer brush. Um, the NARS one is also really great. If you guys have been watching my vlogs, you know that I have used this for months now and this is also really good. This, the coverage of this is also insane, but I do feel that this one feels like you have actual makeup on as opposed to like just feeling like your skin. So I have like these hyperpigmentations like here and when I blend it, like girl tell me, tell me that does not look like my skin right now. When I tell you that a little bit of this goes a long long way, believe me, believe me. But sometimes whenever I walk into Sephora, I just kind of like want to get another tube of this because it's been sold out or it was sold out for like freaking weeks guys i'm going in with this tart like kabuki brush and i'm honestly just tapping everything i feel like doing this will honestly even out all the concealer that i applied because i only specifically applied it to my problematic areas which is like where my dark spots are and i feel like doing this evens out everything okay i'm gonna go in with this concealer from tarte shape tape this is also a really good concealer but this one definitely has like a pretty heavy feeling to it like i feel like i'm wearing layers of makeup so for powder um i am going to go in with the one size beauty powder i love this one shout out to our filipina queen patrick star um, this is actually his like beauty brand and I'm in the shade Sweet Honey and I've been loving the Patrick Ta Duo cream and um, powder blushes. This is in the shade She's Wanted which is like this darker one and this is what I've been using but I got two other shades and my best friend is the sweetest 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 person ever because for christmas i wanted the shade she's baked which is slightly lighter than the one i showed you guys it's more of like a mauvey instead of like a berry color 
and it has been sold out and she was on the Sephora website so she just bought it for me and Michelle if you're watching this I love you but this is the color so if you were to compare it with the first one it's definitely a lot more like mauve -y. so this is she's wanted this is she's baked this is like what i want most then i also have the shade she's a doll this is like baby pink like hot pink and it is so gorgeous also these blushes are so freaking good and worth every single penny this is what it looks like like look at them you guys i still love my rare beauty liquid blush like my forever favorite is the shade love but i have been obsessed with these because they're so freaking good so i think i want to use do we want to use the hot pink or the f... <sighs> which one which one i think i want to go for she's baked because that was originally one i wanted the freaking most you can either go with the cream first apply it and then top it off with the powder to like set it or you can go ahead and use the powder first obviously and then top it off with the cream blush and if you do the powder first and then the cream one you'll get a little bit of like dewiness on your cheeks i feel like i'm not getting the full experience of these blushes if i don't use the patrick ta but like i don't want to cross contaminate the shades you know what i mean so this will just have to do for now now i'm gonna go in with the cream one top this tap that and then he likes to like pat it on the back of his hand just so like you're not just completely raw dogging i love that word and then put it like on the high points of your cheeks like, I definitely see the glow. I don't know if you guys are seeing it because of the light, but there's shine on there. Next up, I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eye because I simply cannot do that. I'm taking Rare Beauty's highlighter in the shade Flaunt. It's like this gorgeous golden bronze shade, and I'm going to go ahead and take that on the inner corner like so. And then the tip of my nose and then drag whatever leftover I have in the bridge of my nose. And then last but not least, I'm taking, I don't even know if I have enough, but I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Yeah, this is done. I'm just spritzing that all over. Letting that set and then i'm also going in with the milk makeup hydro grip setting spray for lips i have these two that i have been meaning to play around with i have two of them i want one more which is like the darkest shade i think it's called like rosewood nights or something but it's like currently sold out and i was so shocked when i saw this but thank god i got my hands on them because they're i honestly i swatched them for a tiktok video and they are so good on the freaking lips so these are the two shades i have i have blush dreams which is like the slightly lighter mauve and then i have this um soft mauve it's like a darker berry color and this is the doe foot applicator <sighs> It feels like a dream to literally apply this. Also, this is like legit my lip color. I actually haven't worn this long enough to know if it's going to last, but I think we'll be able to tell, or I'll be able to tell today. not really tutorial i literally just straightened my hair and super easy i will link everything down i'll also link the hair 
shader that I use, but we are ready for our meeting. When you are based in Los Angeles and Hawaii, but also Filipino and all that, and so it kind of fits our current demographic right now, um, especially with all the kids coming to these games and just kind of to look up to you. sent this like last week so this is kind of like my new box um i don't even know what's in this but this is a drunk elephant little container not even little like it's ca big then a random bag so we're gonna sort through these out and then i have two of these to fill up one will be skincare and then the other one will be makeup just kidding we found this box randomly in my room then also this like random stuff. What are these? These are like drunk elephants. You say you don't wanna get in trouble, that you're doing fine cause you got me. I don't wanna break your little bubble, but you gotta wake up to reality. package from Abercrombie, but it's actually from Hollister. The link says your Abercrombie and Fitch package was delivered, is delivered, but it's actually from Hollister. And honestly, I did not buy any of these. So I don't know if this is like PR. There's no letter or anything. And I most definitely did not place any order last night because I knocked out so fast. So I do not know why I got this Hollister package. It may be from my manager. Like they probably asked me, they probably asked to put me in the Hollister, whatchamacallit, um, PR list, but there's no letter whatsoever. But I got this little, this is actually so soft. Oh my goodness. It's like this gray long sleeve top, super, super soft. And then I got this matching bikini. This is a size small, but it looks so big. It's like a little halter bikini, triangle bikini. This is the bottom, so, so, so cute. And then I actually saw this in store the other day and I wanted it and it just showed up in my door. So this is a size small of the dress. It's like a crochet dress. It's a little bikini cover up. Um, not even just like a bikini cover up, honestly, because there's a lining underneath, like in the inside. So you can totally wear this like just a dress. I may have to like throw this in the washer and like put it in the dryer once because it I feel like I'm a size extra small when I try these on in the store. And then they sent I'm literally so confused like as to why I have this, but I'm super grateful. But also like is it possible that someone might have ordered this and then they sent it to me? But I looked at the tag or like the address and it was addressed to me, so um, we have the parachute baggy pants. This is, I think the regular though, because it might be a little too long on me. I don't know yet, but it looks like this. It's like a little cargo pants. So yeah, thank you so much Hollister for this unexpected package. Like, I don't know if this is literally a peer package or if I have a brand new coming up and they're sending this i don't know i haven't heard anything anyway i hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always if you have any video suggestions you would like to see from me make sure you voice them out in the comments down below and make sure you follow me on my instagram because i am a lot more active on there like active like daily posting um, stories real and in feed on there and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's morning routine and i hope this motivated you to wake up early 
get your work done and just be productive and if not that's also okay if you just watch this video to kind of relax here to have it play in the background thank you so much i want to say thank you for giving me your time and yeah i love you guys so 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 much and i'll see you guys on the next one bye Thank you.